At Ohio State, Young pursued a major in criminology after being inspired by his father, who's a police officer, and several of his uncles and cousins who all work in law enforcement. Can you imagine Chase Young being a fucking cop? Ain't nobody gonna do shit! Are we ready? Are we ready for another video series, my friends? Well, I am. I hope you guys are too, because this video series, I'm assuming, will be everyone's cup of tea. Because <laughs> we're not going to focus on one player. We're not going to focus on one draft. We're not going to focus on one combine. We're going to focus on the first round of the 2020 draft. And I welcome you to it. Okay, I think we're ready. I actually think we're ready to crack into the latest video series. And guys, I want to welcome you to that. Welcome. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts. It's not to the draft. It's not to the combine. It's not to Armin. It's not to Ruben. It's not to the BFL. It's not to Dave. It's not to Backyard Boxing. It is to my favourite picks from the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. If you guys watched the first round with me, I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. There was definitely a fair few players that came up that I knew, as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to get the screen recorder going, turn on the camera, and do some research. Get these names and their story in my head before the upcoming season, so then I can enjoy their play, and also bring these videos to my channel, because, because I'm hoping that the majority of my audience, if you're into American football, you will most likely be interested in these videos. So I'm really hoping that. And if you are, then I want to welcome you. The first video, the first player, sorry, we're going to look at, we're not going to go with the first pick because that was Joe Burrow and I've already done reaction videos on him and his college football. The second pick was Chase Young and that will be the first video of the day. So today's video we're focusing on Chase Young, the Ohio State defensive end or offensive tackle. I actually can't remember so we're going to get into that. The site I'm going to use for this video series is Pro Football Reference. Now in the past I've used Wikipedia. A lot of people have recommended using Pro Football Reference. We've also got ESPN.com, um, the NCAA College Football Player rosters, so if there's any information there that I want to see, I will. But with that being said, with the second pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, actually who selected them? We go down here, Chase Young, Ohio State, the Redskins. So with that being said, I'm going to click on his name. Apparently they have all the latest news to do with the player, which is extremely helpful. It's right there. Got his combine measurements, although they're not all there. I want to know what kind of information we can get from this. So if we go to Ohio State in the Big Ten, and if we look at the roster, and we go down, 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 down. Or is he not on the roster anymore? Huh. Okay. So he's not on the roster anymore, but he was last year. God, these guys are huge. Look at them all. 6'5", 6'6", 6'6", 350. No, not 350. 305, sorry. 300, 310, 310, 305, 360, 285. Dewan Jones. 6'8", 360 pounds. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> wow. Um, how old are you, mate? Don't tell me you're like... Don't tell me you're a teenager. Please. Are we going to get a birthday? I've got to look this guy up. I'm sorry, Chase Young's coming soon. 6'8", 359. He was a true freshman, and he, he still found a significant role on the Buckeyes team, appearing in 10 games and totaling 90 offensive snaps. A four-star prospect by ESPN. I need a birth date. Bro, why can't I get this guy's birthday? Oh my god, this is just going to annoy me. Alright, mate. Well, 6'8", 360. As a freshman, that's absolutely incredible. So we're not going to be able to use the ESPN site because the players have clearly moved on. They're not included in the roster. So what we will use moving forward is Pro Football Reference and Wikipedia. Put Chase Young in there. We've got Chase Young up here. And we've got Chase Young here. With that being said, I'm going to take my first sip of coffee. <coughs> if I don't die. <laughs> and I'll see you back here shortly to check out the big man, Chase Young, the scariest player in college football. Right guys, we're back. Um, I've quickly decided the running order of these videos. I am going to search their story on Wikipedia. 
I'm going to search their stats on Pro Football Reference and any new news stories. And following that, we're going to finish it off with a highlight video of each of the players. With that being said, let's begin. Hope you guys don't mind me putting a hood up. I quite like it. It's a nice fit. Actually, you probably prefer that one better, but we'll bring that out later. Okay, Wikipedia, Chase Young. Chase Young was born on April 14th, 1999. He's 21 years old. He's an American football defensive end for the Washington Redskins. So he is going to be barreling down, trying to swipe past those offensive tackles to get to the quarterback and sack the shit out of him. Well, all right then. He played college football at Ohio State University, playing for the Buckeyes from 17 to 19. In his final season there, he broke the school's single season sack record with 16.5, which won him several honors such as the Bronco Nagurski Trophy, the Chuck Bednarik Award, and Ted Hendricks Award. What the fuck? Three awards. Bronco Nagurski Trophy, awarded annually since 1993 to the Collegiate American Football Defensive Player of the Year. So we got the Defensive Player of the Year. Chuck Bednarik is presented annually to the Defensive Player in College Football as judged by the Maxwell Football Club to be the best in the United States. The award is named for Chuck Bednarik, a former college and professional American football player. And we've got the Ted Hendricks Award is given annually to college football's top defensive end. The award is named after Ted Hendricks, who is a member of both the College Football Hall of Fame and Pro Football Hall of Fame, and is presented by his own 501c3 foundation, the Ted Hendricks Foundation. So he's got two Defensive Player of the Year awards for college football, plus the best defensive end in college football. He was also named, it doesn't stop there, he was also named a unanimous All-American, as well as a finalist for the Heisman Trophy, which I saw. A feat considered rare for a defensive player, which... Yeah, I can't wait to see this guy play in the NFL. Um, well, actually, I haven't even seen him play in college football yet, to be fair. He was selected by the Redskins with the second pick of the 2020 NFL Draft. He stands at 6 foot 5 inches, or 1 metre 96, which is the exact same height. Believe it or not, guys, I'm going to show you something interesting. Chase Young listed at 6 foot 5, a metre 96. His weight is listed at 264 pounds, or 120 kgs. And if we just quickly go back to Wikipedia and I search the late, great Jonah Lomu, my favorite rugby player of all time, and we look at his statistics, this is going to be freakishly similar. 1 meter 96, 6 foot 5, 119 kg, or 262 pounds. The thing about Jonah Lomu is that at the same stats as Chase Young, he ran a 10.5 second 100 meter dash, which means he'd probably be running under a 4.4 for a 40 yard dash at that size. Can you imagine Chase Young moving like that? Well, watch a bit of Jonah Lomu and you'll see it in action. He's a legend. He's my favorite ever rugby player. And seeing those stats, it's the first thing that popped into my head. So I hope you enjoyed that. Whoo! Jeez, I nearly started crying then. I'm gonna take this off now, it's too fucking hot. Chase Young was born in Upper Marlborough, Maryland on April 14th, 1999. And on that day, on that day, I was eight years old. Um, he began playing American football as a child, later attending St. Columbia, Columbus School in Oxon Hill, Maryland. Following that, he attended St. Vincent Pilotti High School in Laurel, Maryland in 2013, where he started at quarterback and outside linebacker as a freshman before switching to defensive end later that year. <laughs> he started he started at high school as a quarterback. I wonder how big he was at that point. As a sophomore the following year, he and the team won the Maryland Interscholastic Athletic Association C Conference Championship. He was also a member of the school's choir, playing the piano, saxophone, and violin. Mate, this just gets better and better. I don't think Jonah Lomu was playing the piano. In 2015, he transferred to DeMatha Catholic High School in Hyattsville, Maryland, where he had 19 sacks and 27 tackles for loss as a junior, helping the team win the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference Championship. In July 2016, he was invited to the opening, a college football recruiting camp sponsored by Nike, where he was named positional MVP. Okay, well, yeah, things were in the works back in 2016, clearly. As a senior in 2016, he had 19 sacks, 118 tackles, five forced fumbles, and two defensive touchdowns that helped the team go undefeated and win another WCAC championship. By then, he was recognized as one of the best high school football players in the nation, where he was included in the 2016 USA Today All-USA High School Football Team and named All 
Metropolitan Defensive Football Player of the Year by Washington Post. He was also invited to the International Bowl and All-American Bowl, playing on the East team for the latter. And you know what? The All-American Bowl, held in San Antonio, Texas each year, definitely rings a bell because a fellow friend of mine, uh, Ruben, Ruben Linton, played in the 2009 all-American Bowl game in San Antonio, Texas as quarterback, as, uh, sorry, cornerback. And he got defensive player of the game. And he never went on to play Div 1 college football. But I'm trying to do everything I can to help him get his name out there. And possibly, all going well, fulfill his dream once and for all at the age of 28 or 29. And that is becoming a pro football player. He deserves it. He's good enough. He's got the work ethic. He's humble. He'd be great for a locker room. And that's, that's all I'm going to say on that. So we moved to college. Chase Young already you know, killing it at high school level. But you never know how they're going to perform when they transition to college. And they certainly never know how they're going to perform when they transition from college to NFL. So Young received scholarship offers from over 40 colleges before committing to Ohio State University in July 2016, choosing them over other schools such as Alabama and Maryland due to the Buckeyes defensive line coach Larry Johnson who personally recruited him and whom Young considered a guru, as well as the school's overall approach that he felt was more family orientated. Well, you're speaking to a, a huge Ohio State fan in me, so, so I'll definitely back you on that one. As a freshman in 2017, Young recorded 3.5 sacks, 18 tackles, and a forced fumble as a reserve player. So he mustn't have played many games. In fact, looking here, looks as if here he played nine games. So he was a reserve, he wasn't starting. And that must have been really hard for the coach to do that. Chase Young took over as a starter for his sophomore season, lining up alongside Nick Bosa until his season-ending injury early on. Young recorded 10.5 sacks on the year despite spraining both ankles midway through, including three against Northwestern at the 2018 Big Ten Football Championship game. Well, that's a good game to do it in. He was named to that season's second-team All-Big Ten team for his performance. Young was named, and that's 2018, in his sophomore year. Young was named one of the team captains as a junior in 2019. So the defensive captain, defensive line captain. That year, he tied Ohio State's school record for single game sacks and tackles for loss in a win against Wisconsin. In November 2019, Young was suspended for two games by the NCAA for getting an unauthorized loan from a family friend to allegedly help his girlfriend against, attend the 2019 Rose Bowl, which he later repaid in full. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Young recorded three sacks against Penn State in his final game after returning. He ended the season with 16.5 sacks, 46 tackles, 21 tackles for loss, seven forced fumbles, three batted passes, and a blocked field goal. His 16.5 sacks broke the single season school record previously held by Vernon Golston, who had 14 in 2007. And where did Vernon Golston end up? Well, he played in the NFL for four years. He went sixth pick in the 2008 draft to the Jets then went to the Bears, then went to the Rams. Interesting. Young was named, okay, Young won several, okay. Okay, oh my God, oh my Lord. This guy is a prodigy. This guy is ridiculous. This guy was a man among boys. We just covered three awards that he got before. It turns out he actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, six awards. And they are the Bronco Nagurski Trophy, the Chuck Bednarik Award, the Ted Hendricks Award, the Chicago Tribune Silver Football Award, which is the college football player determined to be the best player from the Big Ten Conference, the Nagurski Woodson Defensive Player of the Year Award, which is the individual honors at the end of each football season, most valuable player of the conference, and the Smith Brown Defensive Lineman of the Year, which I assume is the most valuable football player of the conference once again. So, holy shit, man, we're going to... I'm going to see some of these highlights. I can't fucking wait. I want to see how much bigger this guy is than the, or how much more mobile at, the, at that size he is than the offensive lineman he's coming up against. And also he's going to make some big tackles on running backs too, isn't he? So that's going to be good to see. So we've got all those awards. In addition, he was named Walter Camp Defensive Player of the Week for his performances against Wisconsin and Penn State, unanimously named to the 2019 All Big Ten and All American teams and was voted Ohio State's Male Athlete of the Year. I haven't seen that before. He was also named a finalist for the Walter Camp Award, Maxwell Award, and Heisman Trophy, becoming only the ninth defensive player since 1982 to be nominated for the latter, where he finished fourth in voting behind quarterbacks Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, and Justin Fields. Finished his career at Ohio State with 30.5 total sacks, which ranks second all-time there behind Mike Rebell's 36. And who is Mike Rebell? An American football coach and former linebacker. 
who is currently the head coach of the Tennessee Titans, was drafted in the third round, pick number 91, in the 1997 draft. He played at the Steelers from 97 to 2000, the Patriots from 01 to 08, and the Chiefs from 09 to 10. And as a coach, he's coached at Ohio State, Houston Texans, and the Tennessee Titans. That is a fucking full football career, if I ever did see one. So, total statistics, as we just read, 34 games, 68 solo tackles, 30 assisted tackles for a total of 98 tackles, uh, and 40 of 40 and a half of those are for loss. So, you know, almost 50% of the time, Chase Young, when coming up on a one-on-one -on -one tackle, is going to actually push the guy back. So when you are obviously touted as being, you know, one of the top prospects, obviously going to go in the first round, probably in the first five picks, it seems you don't really have to attend the NFL Combine to prove anything, which makes sense. Young decided to forgo his senior year at Ohio State by declaring for the 2020 draft, where he was considered by many to be the best overall prospect. He attended the NFL Combine but did not participate in any workouts or drills, stating that he did not want to waste time being a Combine athlete. Young was one of 58 players invited to the draft, which was held virtually due to social distancing regulations arising from blah blah blah, where he was selected by the Washington Redskins with the second overall pick. We played basketball at Bowie State University. Sorry, this is Young's father, Greg. Played basketball at Bowie State University before working as police deputy with Arlington County Sheriff's Office, while his mother Carla works for the Office of Investigations for the Department of Transportation. Young has a sister, Wesley, who played college football at North Carolina. At Ohio State, Young pursued a major in criminology after being inspired by his father, who's a police officer and several of his uncles and cousins who all work in law enforcement. Can you imagine Chase Young being a fucking cop? Ain't nobody gonna do shit! Young is nicknamed the Predator for his on-field dominance as well as his dreadlocks resembling the Predators from the Predator tran franchise. <laughs> Young also played other sports while at DeMatha such as basketball and sprint running. In basketball he played alongside Markel Fultz who was later selected first overall in the 2017 NBA Draft. Okay. That's a story and a half. And with that being said, let's get into the reaction. Are you ready? Because I am. But we're going to do that in the next video. Chase Young, good luck for this season. I'll be following you, mate. And you've got a fan in me. So peace out.